Hi, I am Dr. Arsalan Khan and today we are going to study the gym sustaining technique. Gym sustaining technique is a famous technique used for diagnosis of malaria parasite or plasmodium. Even it is considered as the gold standard for diagnosis of the malaria parasite or plasmodium. Gym sustain was developed by Gustav Jimsa in 1904. Gustav Jimsa, he was a German biochemist and bacteriologist. And this gym sustain, it is named after its developer. Now the application of gym sustaining technique. Gym sustain is a nucleic acid stain. It is used in the cytogenetics, histopathology. Particularly the gym sustaining technique, it is used in the diagnosis of parasites or more specifically the protozoans or heme protozoans. For example, plasmodium which cause malaria in human beings, thileria which cause thileriosis, babesia which cause babesiosis or red water disease, tryptosoma or which cause sleeping sickness disease, anaplasma is ehrlichia and causes anaplasmosis and trichomonas vaginalis. This is another protozoan which causes vaginal infections, the trichomonas vaginalis. The gym sustain is composed of three chemicals, the methylene blue, eosine and azor B. And the combination of these three chemicals dissolved in water at the rate of 5% gym solution is prepared for the microscopic examination of the parasites. The mechanism of action of gym sustain is it's a specific stain for the phosphates of DNA. Gym sustain is basically a nuclear stain and it binds to the phosphate groups of the DNA and more specifically these bind to the DNA at high content of adenine and thymine. Where there is high content of adenine and thymine bonding, the gym sustain will bind to it and this side is termed as G band or gymsa band. Gymsa usually stains the chromosomes and it is also used in the chromosome mapping. The chromosome mapping which is technically called as cryogram. Now we will discuss the procedure of gym sustaining, the most important part of our lecture. Gym sustain is a very simple procedure. First of all, thin film of the specimen is prepared on the slide, for example, thin blood smear. Then the slide is fixed in the pure methanol for 30 seconds. Ethanol can also be used instead of methanol. Then the slide is flooded with 5% of the gym sustain. And this gym sustain should remain on the slide for 20 to 30 minutes. It takes 20 to 30 minutes for the gym sustain to penetrate into the nucleus of the cell. Then the slide is flushed with tap water to remove the excessive gym sustain and the slide is air dried and examined under IL immersion lens of the microscope or 100x and the parasite is identified on the basis of its morphology. Now the results interpretation of the gym sustain slide examined under the microscope. As you know that the gym sustain can also be used for the study of cell or cytology. So these are the cytological features which can be studied under the gym sustaining technique. The gym sustained red blood cells appear pink under microscope, the platelets appear light pink, Lymphocytes appear blue, cytoplasm as red and nucleus appear blue or purple. This is the cytology or the application of gym sustain in cytology. Now the diagnosis of protozoans. Diagnosis of parasites are protozoans using gym sustaining technique. The plasmodium appears blue crescent shaped in the red blood cells. In case of thileria, the red blood cells are wrinkled or star shaped. This is the characteristic feature in thileriosis. Star shaped red blood cells or wrinkled red blood cells are seen and cox blue bodies are seen in the lipocytes. The Babesia is seen as hard shoe shaped in the red blood cells. Like this is the appearance of the Babesia in the red blood cell. Then a plasma is seen as dotted at the periphery of red blood cells. For example, this is the red blood cell and a plasma is seen at the peripheral side of the red blood cell. So these are diagnostic features of the parasites or protozoans using gym sustaining technique. So this was all about the gym sustaining technique. Hope you will find something new in this lecture. Keep watching my videos. Thank you.